Hello uh, for a little tutorial about uh, vertex color in Wings and uh, specifically the ability to uh, sort of bake, bake them into texture inside a Wings UV mapping module. Okay, so I've prepared uh, two little scenes. Uh, first, uh, kind of mosaic ones, tiles. Okay, and uh, Okay, and I, I I have already painted some uh, some colors here. I show you uh, how in the second video, but I guess most people al already know that actually. And as you can see, I've prepared some crappy UVs just for this demonstration. <laughs> okay, and here's what you can do uh, to create a texture. Because so far, delete this one with those. As you can see, <coughs> my material doesn't have any texture. Okay? So let's do it. UV editor, right click, create texture. And here you need actually only two uh, passes background and draw faces okay choose your texture size uh, one important detail click option just in front of background and choose a color not an image i choose a uh, pure white for now and you need this pass draw faces not draw edges uh, faces which will actually paint the vertex, the vertices, colors <laughs> into uh, the texture. Okay, hit OK. And if I move my UVs temporarily, as you can see, here what it did. Okay. So, our texture, which uh, you can now uh, export to Photoshop or whatever to uh, edit and refine it uh, and use use this, uh, this base actually. Uh, to make your uh, your real uh, texture uh, for your project okay another another option uh, that I use and I need to import another scene um, but first just to show how it looks without the vertex color I could actually select my object go into vertex attributes and remove the vertex color remove colors here okay and I guess I should see my textures which I do not because my material is on set let's shoot ignore Here it goes. Okay, my basic basic texture. Okay, that's now a texture, not vertex colors. Second example. Okay, second example. I have uh, prepared a simple pillar with a few edge loops to get some nice shaders, shading. Sorry, like this. Okay. Especially if you, <coughs> especially if you intend to import, to export this into DAS uh, Studio, for example, with a simple basic texture, no shadows yet, and actually, that's why I uh, I now use vertice colors to get to add some shadows. Okay, and to see it a bit better for now, let's for the moment edit my material and uh, choose set on vertex colors so I will not see the texture <coughs> and I can work clearly to set my colors okay so if it's not already open open the palette window palette let's clear all for now define a white color and about here say a black one 
right click in the middle somewhere choose interpolate and we have some shades of uh, shades of gray, gray. <coughs> Uh, full black, this one will be uh, probably too dark, so let's choose this one, put it there, and an almost a very clear one here, and again interpolate. I'll work with this. Okay, so let's say I want a pretty dark shadows here, so I choose an edge loops, okay, and Let's click on the darker one, and you can see uh, a nice gradient from the edge to the next one. So we can also darken this one, probably a little bit less. Okay, and if we want, we could darken this one again a bit clearer. It's a bit strong, but anyway, let's. Let's skip that for now. I could very slightly darken this one. Too dark already here, okay? Or even even clearer. Just a bit. <coughs> here let's say this too dark that's why uh, having some gradients in the palette is useful okay uh, perhaps a bit more because when we'll add the texture here okay with the texture on top of this we need some shadows still and oh, let's keep this one okay so now let's edit our material again choose uh, for now multiply to simulate in wings uh, how the vertex color add to the texture and to to compare for a comparison between the two let's um, duplicate and for this one remove the colors okay so without vertex colors with vertex colors okay could even darken this one a little bit more. And the last one too. Oh, that was good. Okay. Something like that. So for now I don't need this one anymore. Let's see again how to bake this. So again I have prepared some UVs quickly. <laughs> And uh, just to be careful, uh, duplicate your texture because it will be replaced since it's, it's assigned to our material. So let's make a safe copy here in your project. Right click, create texture, background option again, color white, draw faces, and uh, we'll see some other options, but for now. Let's hit it, and as you can see here, what Wings did. Okay, so we have some flows. You can see here the edges are a bit visible because the texture is not perfect. So what we can do again to prevent this. Uh, if we don't want to correct that in Photoshop yet, uh, simply let's do that again, but this time let's add a new pass. Two new passes actually. Let's add an edge filter with a default option for this model 03. Okay. And let's add 
euh, filter 1, 2, Gaussian Blur ok euh, non ok and this time no flows ok so we can make this external external import that in Photoshop and use uh, use this as a base or even edit our base texture add the new one as layers to get a similar result as we can see here edit okay as this okay texture plus the second texture vertex color I'm just simulating there. that's uh, the idea anyway Okay, I hope uh, this helps and uh, my apologies for my uh, bad English, especially my awful accent. Very sorry about that. <laughs> and uh, see you soon.